Alright, so in the last video we went ahead and made some footsteps. In this video, we are going to go over here back to where we were in the asset store. If you don't have this screen up when you click over to it, you're going to go back over to the audio and we're going to try and find something new. We're looking for explosions, everybody. It's going to be fun. Let's do it. So price, make sure to set to zero. We don't really don't want to pay anything for this because, well, it's pretty casual. Here we go, free casual sound effects, show more. I have no idea if there's an explosion in this or not. So I'm gonna actually speed up this part while I'm looking through it, but feel free to look on your own and see what you like. Um, maybe even just look up here for an explosion sound. All right, so we got the explosion sounds uh, got there, whatever ones you have, go test them out. I like these because they're pretty cartoony. I want some more, some more puffy. You know, these sound like uh, I'm exploding like uh, asteroids or something, or blowing up ships or aliens, you know? It's very good if I'm making like an Independence Day game, but... I like these names too, it makes me feel like Goku is fighting me or something. Bakuhoto. Alright, so I see a couple sounds in here that I really, really like. Actually, I like this sound pack, so maybe you guys should definitely download this one. Um, the hit sounds are pretty good, in, but they're really fast. So I don't know how that'll look with like the smoke and everything. So we'll try it though. So I think the second to last one was pretty good. There we go, 23, that's a good one. So we're going to go over to one of our enemies. Uh, it doesn't matter which one, start with the frog, I guess. We're going to put an audio source on him. We're going to scroll down, we're going to go to 23 because that's the one I liked. And we're going to have it so it's play on awake, we're going to loop it, and we're going to go ahead and go into the game so that we can listen to it on repeat for a little bit and see how it works inside of it. Alright, it's very annoying I know, but if you mess with the pitch... We'll get a little bit of a different feel for it. So I think that right there, that was pretty good. So 0.5 maybe for this pitch. We'll try it out. All right, so we're here. We're here inside the uh, enemy script. We're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna put it into enemy script itself because we just because that's where the jumped on function is. If we wanted uh, every enemy to play a different sound based on it, but because we're using the same animation, we kind of don't want that. So in that case, we're gonna want every enemy to have the same audio source or not the same audio source but an audio source you can make a different sound when you land on different enemies but we don't really want to mess with that right now we're going to have death and we're going to when you're jumped on you're just going to have death dot play happen okay and of course you need death to be equal to get component audio source and this will work for now until we want multiple sound effects on them, in which case we want to put a serialized field there so that we can have access to it inside of the inspector, right? So this is all good and ready to go. Now he should do it as soon as he's jumped on. So let's go ahead and set the sound effect to be correct so it's not playing on awake and it's not looping. There we go. So you can hear the little fox running around. There we go. That little puffy sound went off, but it didn't happen there, right? Because it's missing the component, and you can see he didn't even jump afterwards because it just wasn't functioning correctly, right? So, in order to get everybody else functioning correctly, we gotta go over to the frog. We can go over to this. We can say copy component. And we go to one of our eagles, and we can say, go to any one of these uh, little gizmos here, and we say paste component as new. There we go, we now have that audio source inside of all of them as well. We want to go over here and say apply so it goes to the rest of our eagle friends. And we also want to apply it on our frog because it's been a long time and he's... Wow, we actually broke the prefab, it's been so long. So let's go over here, we can go to where the prefab is. We can go ahead and delete our frog prefab. Do we not have a frog prefab? Let's make a prefab of our frog. 
that is way overdue <laughs> and that should have been done forever ago guys um and then let's go ahead in here and test it out and boom it's explosion when we land on them boom boom yeah that sounds good and there we go we might want uh so the sound effect to be played when we uh destroy those cherries as well that is actually happening inside the player script that's pretty messy let you know so like if we go inside the player controller over here and we do an on trigger enter is where it's happening at uh you see over here this is where i keep track of our cherries and stuff we can also make another sound for that but then we have to deal with multiple sound files and stuff but so let's do it let's just do it just for fun and have it inside of here so what we're going to do so the way that we've been doing it is on a serialized field private audio source and we're gonna call this one cherry right and we're gonna go over here we're gonna control x this which it cuts it we're gonna serialize the field and we're gonna paste it over here so now that we have the footstep and now this in the start function is going away we do no longer need that in there because we're gonna assign it instead of the inspector instead and also right before we destroy the object we're going to say cherry.play so that we have a little pickup sound that happens in there right then of course we're going to have to create an, a separate audio listener for that audio source element eventually if i can ever do this then we're going to say add component to audio source like that we're going to go over here I'm going to get ready for a sped up video because as I look through these sounds, see one that I like. Alright, so I really like these cone effects, so we're going to go ahead and uh, set that up on one of these. We're going to go to collectible, it doesn't matter which one we pick. I don't know why these have uh, others underneath them. What's this? Go into the player because that's who's going to actually be playing the sound. We're going to go into this. We're going to move over to coin. I think a 19 was the one I liked. Let me test that out one more time. All right, so we'll stick with 19 for now. I guess I did like 19. All right, so we're over here. We're going to, of course, do the play on awake and loop it and then allow it to play for a little bit. Then we can mess with the pitch inside of here. So maybe like 0.5. Maybe just one. I guess 0 0.7, 0 0.7 sounds about good. About as good as it's going to get for that. Right? Now we have two of them on here. We go over to our inspector on our player here. And then we can, of course, go to Cherry. We go on the player. And we can go over there. And it'll go over to, it'll actually select audio sources because we have two of them, you don't know which one's playing. So the cherry, you want it to be this one right here, that's that one. And then the grass, of course, the footstep, you want it to be that one right there. So as you can see, you can get the two different sound effects going. And of course, we need to set this up so it's not looping and awake. Uh, then we go ahead and play it, and then. now playing sounds when we go ahead and do things you know the world's more interactive it's kind of an annoying sound but maybe i should just do that hitting sound that's on there because they're cherries you know they're not they're not nothing else all right but you get the point you can mess with it and do different things with the sounds that you want but the main point is that you can do it here's how to do it here's how to do multiple sounds on one character uh, just make sure that you do that dragging that I showed you or else you'll end up with something random. You can, of course, uh, close in these arrows if you have a hard time dragging them over because uh, there's too much stuff inside of here. It's, it gets, you know, there's, there's a bunch of little things that you gotta, like, learn, but this isn't too bad, right? So anyways, hit that like button if you liked the video and then uh, hit that subscribe and the bell button and you'll get some notifications every time I make a new video. We're getting very, 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 very close to the end of the video and uh, the series. I believe I only have one more video to make actually. So uh, thanks for sticking out with me to the end. Give me some comments, some feedback below and I will be sure to follow it up on future video series. And thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye.